All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a review style video, and I haven't been doing a lot of these, and that's for a another reason. We'll go over that at a different time. But today's video is of the Nerf and Strike Elite Surge Fire. I was so happy to hear about the Surge Fire coming out that I actually went to Target and physically purchased two of them. And um, again, that will be a separate video on why I bought two, when hopefully that we will be done. But today we're just going to go over it. So. First off, it's pump action, slam fire, has no stock attachment point, no barrel attachment point, wasn't hoping for a barrel, I was hoping for a stock attachment point, and it's a 15 dart cylinder. Other than that, I just want to note that, again, we have pump action, no stock attachment point, and a 15 round cylinder. So we're going to jump right on into the, re to the review. And um, it's a little mixed, so we'll just get started. And here's the blaster, guys. This is the Nerf and Strike Elite Surge Fire, all ready to go. We have 15 darts in our rotating drum. We have very comfortable front grip. Uh, I really, really like that. I like their place of the tack rail up front here. Some nice coloring in the vents where it is see-through plastic. You can see orange through it. Very nice overall design. I don't really like how the whole front of it is orange but it's kind of growing on me. And then the whole back of it is of course blue. This isn't the digicam kind of look. This is the, um, we'll call it like tiger striping. The same thing as the detail on the hyper fire. So very cool, again, to work. You pull back, push forward and fire. And of course you shoot one dart. Or you can hold the trigger down and slam fire. So that's pretty cool. So we have a sling point up here one over here you're not really gonna probably sling this blaster like that because it's not really a primary of sorts in my opinion but anyway so very comfortable grip up in the front kind of like a pistol grip so very convenient to fire and then you have your drum rotates freely there you can rotate it around and of course the darts themselves. The drum is very thick, as I know I have, uh, other people have mentioned, but 15 darts really isn't that bad of a capacity for this size. I know some people complain that they could have fit more if they put them closer together, and that's definitely true, but I really don't mind the capacity as I reload it so we can continue firing correctly. So other than that, we have the trigger back here. Standard, no problem whatsoever there. The grip is pretty nice. I know some people were complaining that it is small. It's actually smaller. This grip is smaller than the front grip, which I don't know the design on that, but altogether makes a very comfortable blaster. The hole in the handle there, I see that as a sling point. I'll put some kind of nylon rope through that to a carabiner and I can just click it on. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna use this for. It's gonna be a secondary. Um, or a backup primary so I can just sling it behind me and pull up my primary and go with that and if I need it I can take it out and get 15 darts off that quick so again in the back you have a priming indicator which you can see as I go through horrible priming indicator um, that's a really really bad design Although, I know other people have done it. Clearly, I'm primed. I can't prime again. I would have loved to see a stock attachment point, but the blaster is so thin. I understand why they weren't able to put one. It doesn't mean they could have changed their design to make a stock attachment point. I mean, again, you're going to be spraying. If you want to line up your shots, you can, but a stock would have been nice to kind of do that with. Uh, they could have built in a stock if they really wanted to. But... Other than that, Blaster is really, really fun to use. So we're kind of going to go over some positives and negatives here. Uh, negatives to start is the capacity. It's only 15 darts. I know I said I was okay with it, and I am. It's not a bad capacity, but for front loading, it's the highest that I know of, except for going with the Turbo Advance which is pretty much a, a decent comparison to this, as far as I know, as far as pump action cylinder fed goes. 
but it does take a while to load, so it does not have much of a place. If you're already using magazines or anything like that, I would probably not reload this if when I'm done using it as a secondary or anything like that. I probably wouldn't bother reloading it, just because, again, it takes so long to thread those in. Unless you're running this as a primary, which you can, it is doable, in which case I would take these dart pegs out and make it rear loading. So instead of having to load from the front, you can just push a dart in through the back, which is what I'm going to do with one of mine. That's why I bought two, so just in case I mess one up, I don't have a complete flop. And I got to go buy yet another one. So I bought two. That's nice. So that's really the only negative is really the drum. I don't like how they put the rail up so far. They could have put it right here because that's where normally you put a scope. But this is totally screaming for a red dot just because it, it's up that far and I feel like that's a good spot for one. Uh, sling points, I feel like putting them up top was a little unnecessary. They could have done it like they did on the smaller pistols, like the, I think the Cyclone Shock has one, it's not little. Uh, but the strong arm has the clip down here underneath the handle, which that's nice and it doesn't really get in the way. This kind of digs into my hand a little bit there if I hold it properly. But the other issue that I think people are gonna have with this, and some people already have had, is the pump action. It's not smooth, and that's because of the cylinder size and how heavy it is. And sometimes in slam fire, I think it was Coop, who um, during his, or during his firing demo, actually had the blaster skipping, skipping past certain barrels which I only had happen once, and that's when I was doing that. And it just, it doesn't rotate. You can see I'm still on the empty barrel. It's, mine just doesn't rotate at all, and it will misfire. So that's the only thing I've noticed, and that actually happens with both of mine. So his just, it fires every time, but it skips darts. Mine, if you pump it fast enough, just will not fire sometimes or you'll get them like barely coming out of the barrel and I have perfect dart fit I'm using all brand new darts so that's a little bit disappointing but that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing with this it's slam fire only because it's gonna be clipped on a uh, sling on my back in my loadout video which will be coming out probably in February ish I don't want to quote that because I still have to finish some of my projects and get some stuff working but that's pretty much the review of this blaster, slam fire, pistol thing. Um, I definitely want to just one hand it because it has so much capacity, but that slam fire issue is kind of a deal killer. Um, I plan on modding mine, so taking out the prime lock so I can deprime it. Rear loading, definitely going to take these out today on one of them. This one will remain stock do another one where I take these out and I want to see what kind of spring power I can put in this considering I'm pretty sure there's a metal bar in here physically doing that so if I can put a better spring in this rear loading I can use half length darts or Steffens and get a lot better uh, performance because I want to see what I can do with this ridge if I can kind of like file it down to make it bearable to physically use but I'm gonna reload real quick and then I'll do a firing demo from behind the camera. That way you can kind of get the rate of fire. And hopefully we won't have any of that skipping problem. See you guys in a second. And all right, so here we are. I am now behind the camera, primed and ready to go. I'm gonna do four single shots and then I'll try and slam fire the rest of it to see what happens. So here's my orange barrel. Kind of do like one of these. Hopefully you guys can see some of that. I think I was aiming a little low um, using a new height on my tripod, so we'll see how that works. I think it's from about here up. I'm not sure. Once I play the clip back, I'll be able to see it. But it's not bad. It is still doing the skipping issue. Again, I haven't done any kind of modifications to this yet. I won't be doing it to this one like I keep saying. But it's overall, it's not a bad blaster. It definitely is the elite version of the Roto Fury. I don't have a Roto Fury, but a lot of people are comparing it that way. But I feel like for its compact size, 
It definitely has a role as a secondary, a slam fire blaster, keep people pinned, you can prime it, have it pointing, NB reloading, your empty barrels, which is definitely a good feature to have. And the fact that you can always just turn this and get to your next barrel. So even if you're completely out and you start reloading over here, you can always just push it back. It does rotate this way. So I put a dart right here, we'll see it move. So that is one thing to notice, it does rotate counterclockwise. Yes, counterclockwise. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So if you're running out over here and you start reloading over here, you might have to dry fire a few times. Until you actually get to your dart or rotate it manually. But overall, I'm kind of split. I really like the setup of the blaster. Kind of reminds me of like a Raider or Rampage which were really good blasters, but they took magazines. You could put the 25 or the 35. This only has 15, so I definitely don't see it as a primary class. I see it more as like a secondary. Unless you like running different blasters, again, once you do that rear loading modification, it should be pretty easy once you kind of make the uh, hole a little bit bigger and take the post out. You can just reload from the back. I mean, if you're left-handed, that works even better because you can be reloading over here as it comes around and then you'll be able to fill up your darts as they come which is nice unfortunately I'm right-handed so it is the opposite way for me um, which is very very weird but it does say surge fire on each side which is a big change and then elite it's actually the black and then there's blue plastic under it that's not paint or anything like that so I can imagine this blaster would come apart into three different sections or or I'm sorry, four orange, blue, the black, and then the gray would all come apart. So you can do a pretty cool paint job with it. I completely intend to leave mine stock, at least paint wise, and just see if the internal mods are possible. But that's the video guys. I will make another video when I modify this thing with hopefully a video up on that modification. I'm trying to get better at build style videos. Um, and then of course the building stuff is its own series. I'm hoping I can do another building stuff video. I have a bunch of stuff planned. I was gonna do it with the project I was just working on, but that took a little bit longer than expected and I didn't have all the segments, so it wasn't gonna be worth making. So thank you guys very much again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, go check out my Instagram for some extra stuff. Thank you guys again, and peace out.